Hello my Libra. Welcome back to my channel. Wisdom and Light here and I am back with another astral message. If your sun, moon, or rising just so happens to be in Libra, this message is divinely for you. Thank you guys so much for being extremely patient with me. I live by very loud, party-going people. So it's very hard for me to channel and do these messages when everybody's loud around me. It was the weekend. I really tried to get everything out sooner, but here we are. Everything just happens in divine timing. You were meant to receive this message. If none of these messages resonate with you, it belongs to another Libra. And, you know, I hope you get something out of this. But just keep in mind that this is a general reading, okay? It's not personal, but it's important to grab what speaks to you. If you're here, you're here for a divine reason. So, we're just going to be using oracle cards today. I've just been vibing with oracle cards um i think this is called the psychic tarot i've had this for years you guys can see the wear and tear i love when my cards get like that so let's begin what is the messages for scorpio sun moon and rising don't forget to give this video a thumbs up please give this video a thumbs up it lets me know that you guys love these um, guided messages your third eye okay accelerated motion okay sacrifice oh that's a scary word sacrifice <laughs> okay back of the deck energy is spiritual strength Alrighties, so Libra, your message is coming to me very loudly and the message here is for you right now, isolation is a good thing. For you right now, being by yourself is a good thing. Right now, not dating or not putting yourself out there is a good thing. Libra, I mean, how do I say this without coming off abrasive and mean and not coming off as a Capricorn and grumpy? Because, you know, I love me some Libras, but I have to just be the bearer of bad news. It's not bringing you peace to date people that don't want the same things that you want. It's actually very exhausting. And no, we can't control anybody to do something that they don't want to do. But we can definitely work on ourselves so we can change the vibration of what we're attracting. So rather than worrying about your love life or worrying about why you're not connecting, why you're not connecting with this person on a deeper level or why you can't see your partner as much as you would like or why you can't have this or why you can't have that or why everything is hard. Spirit is isolating you and making you be by yourself for a minute because there's things that you have to get done. It's like... Spirit just feels like I'm not going to reward this behavior because she's so amazing or he's so amazing. They can do so much more with themselves. And I feel that they're consuming themselves with something that's just... Mm. All I'm saying is the quiet is good. It's allowing you to think. It's allowing you to create what you need to create. So don't worry about it. Don't worry about any form of relationships right now. Because you have to worry about you. You have to do what is best for you. Third eye. Accelerated motion and sacrifice. So what do you feel that you have to sacrifice so that you can take yourself to the next level. What do you have to let go of? What do you have to release? For some of you, it's like, you know what? I've been smoking hookah every time I go out. I don't want to smoke hookah for a month. I don't want to smoke ganja for a month. I don't want to shop online for a month. I don't want to date or meet anyone new for a month because people are not matching my vibes or they're not understanding how deep I am or what I'm expecting and I'm getting very shallow like stuff why am I attracting this what is wrong with me nothing's wrong with you Libra nothing is wrong with you at all but 
you could be putting a little bit too much energy in something that's really truly not giving back to you so there's this chop chop energy of get it done get it started make it happen don't sit on it being alone right now is a good thing being alone with your thoughts is a good thing so it's important that you you can get like you can get your phone on your phone there's like a recording option i know every phone has something where you can record record yourself if you don't like journaling but i recommend journaling as well libra you're you're creating and here's the thing the reason why i'm saying all of this is because love seems to be in front of you right now something to do with love matters of the heart it's in front of you and it seems like you have to handle it right now. It feels like you have to fix it. It feels like you have to address it. And it will get addressed, Libra. The only thing is, I, mm, it's it's not it's not as important as you think it is. I'm sorry, it's not. Because this is literally not going anywhere. This person, this situation, this thing, it's not she or he. The opportunity is not escaping you. What? have you done this year to say that you have accomplished this or that what have you actually got done if you feel like you haven't done enough then this is a beautiful opportunity to write down what you need to make to get it started because their shit their problems whatever it's consuming you and it's actually bringing out the worst in you or making you second guess yourself, Libra. So release it. Some of you are going through legal troubles. Some of you are beating yourself up about school or work, your relationships. So let's just slow down. I wish I can give you guys a hug because it's a lot, Libra. You're, you're taking on too much when a lot of great things are coming in. So don't worry about this person. Don't worry about whatever that this is. It will resurface and circle back around probably by the end of August, September-ish, I feel. But you have to look at the bigger picture. You have to look at what you must do. So if that means I was supposed to move, but I kind of fell back from it because I'm dealing with this, now is the time. Right now, spirit is doing process of elimination or tapping on your shoulder to say, hey, Let's look at what you must do to take yourself from here to here. Your spirit guides don't want me to talk about love, but I feel that your higher self wants to know, so I will pull on it. But if this was spirit's choice, the reading would end right here. I'm, I'm really just being honest. The reading would end right here. But... I love y'all and I love love the intuitive is going to say the reading stops here but the friend right the tarot friend even though I'm more than you know blah, 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 I will pull a card so we're gonna pull a card and card reverse Okay, why why are some Libra why are some Libra situationships talking about marriage when they have no business talking about marriage because they're in a very crazy situation and one person can't seem to commit? I'm hearing that. No, marriage shouldn't even be brought up. Like it's like it's talked about to to smooth out the blow. I want to marry you. I see myself doing this with you. I love you. La, 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 la. Okay, but why? distraction distraction no that should not be brought up marriage is not a fixer-upper it's, it's it's not let's not make things more complicated right let's not so for libras that are in situationships and deepening of the connection moving in children marriage y'all got a lot to work on before y'all welcome in because it gets harder when you guys are not balanced. Right? You need to separate from this 
from this. You need to separate from the situation ship for the situation ship cluster of Libras. It's not getting better. It's getting worse. You have to retreat. Or you have already left the situation, but now they want you to come back and they want to take you away for a weekend or whatever. Libra. Mm, no. No. Okay. Okay. Libras that are like happy and in love. Libra. Libra, this person is still in love with you. This person still loves you too. They're just not ready. They're not ready yet, but they they do still love you. Yes. Some Libras are like going through like a divorce. So some, this is funny. Some Libras are like actually going through a divorce and now they're in a situation ship with their ex-husband. I can't make this shit up. I, I literally am seeing this. And that's the thing, getting back together with this very person that you're divorcing, it might not solve everything. So a lot needs to be put out on the table, open communication and comprehension and understanding needs to take place before you guys can consider any of this. Because it's like, I want this with you, but we're not balanced. I'm over here, you're over there, but I want you back into my life and I want to run away with you because I love you still. But for whatever reason, we haven't figured out this. So counseling can help right libras come on but what about the libras that are single the libras that are in relationships though are really going through it and i'm talking about the ones that's like very up and down what about my libras that are not going through that per marriage is coming up for a lot of libras um that are in stable relationship it could deepen into an engagement for a lot of you so congratulations for some libras out there congratulations congratulations libras that are single what about my libras that are single libras that are single religious factors it's important to start dating people that understand you spiritually you're meeting someone engagement it's worth waiting for so don't rush it you got worth waiting for reverse don't rush anything this is why spirit is taking you away from it spirit is saying hey you don't have to do all of that we're working in your favor to bring you what you deserve but if you're running after it you're going to be attracting what we did not set up for you i mean i'm a capricorn i'm a capricorn okay some more messages anything with finances Nope, they're just saying get it done. Get it started and get it done. Okay. Anything else? You're getting that promotion. Don't be scared of it. You're getting that opportunity. Don't run from it. Libra, prepare. You need to also prepare. Oop, zero. New beginnings. Yep. New beginnings. Anything else for Libra? partnerships make sense conflict and defeat conflict and defeat awareness so okay we're gonna focus on this right here conflict and defeat so Libra you've been through it already you've been through this before we've been here before it feels like I'm pulling over it feels like I'm driving a car full of Libras and I'm just pulling over in the middle of nowhere on the side of the road and I'm just saying this to all of you and you guys are in the back seat driving me crazy asking are we there yet are we there yet Libra we've been here before so what we're not going to do is repeat cycles. Don't doubt yourself because you're doing an amazing job. Don't jinx it by speaking negativity into the universe. You got this. You're doing an amazing job. And if there's any setbacks, it was literally to redirect you towards where you need to be and where you need to go and what you need to do for yourself. Okay? I know that it's confusing right now. I know that there's really no clarity at the moment with this person, with this situation. But Spirit is saying, take a step back. Take a step back. Just 
embrace solitude right now for at least the next two weeks. Get the things that you have to get done. Do your laundry, clean your space, go grocery shopping, meal prep, cook, cook for yourself, or eat wholesome food if you can. If you're not into cooking, there's so many companies that deliver home-cooked meals at your door that are healthy. Consider that. Libra going to farmer's markets. I just keep seeing you guys just really trying to bring back a lot of fruits and vegetables and richness into your life because it's just been very draining. Libras, you're detoxing. You actually need to detox. You need to purge. You need to up your vitamin intake. You need to build your immune system. You need to drink more water. So Libra, it's like you're not taking care of yourself the way that you need to. And you're probably putting a lot of that energy into other stuff. So you're not balanced. You're not. You think you are, but you're not. So this is why spirit took this person out of your life. This is why this person left. This is why you are isolated right now. Because whatever that they're dealing with, whatever that they're bringing to you is not the most important thing right now. And I got news for you. That person, that situation, whatever it is, they ain't going nowhere. I guarantee you if you text them, they're going to text you right back. So, they can wait. Everything can wait. Can wait. This person can wait. Everything can wait. You do what's good for you. And you can recircle, you can come back to it when you're ready, when you have everything handled. Hmm. But congratulations for Libras that are getting engaged or deepening relationships. That's amazing. But, you know, I pulled over for all of you Libras that are just not in alignment. And not understanding why this isolation is happening. And it won't last long. Just enough for you to get things done. Anyways, I love you guys. Don't be mad at me. I mean well. And leave a comment down below. Let me know how you feel. I'm open to hear it. And Libra, it's going to be okay. I promise it's going to be okay. But don't give your anxiety or this situation any more of your energy. Bye.